Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and you are at the Lopsided Crafter. Grab yourself something to drink, sit back for a spell, and let's talk about all of our yarny goodness and creation. Hi guys, welcome to my yarn porch. For this video I decided to come outside because it is a beautiful day. So, I will sit out here as long as I can. So, I was tagged by Gina of the Knitting Turnpike. Hi, Gina, to do 10 non-yarny things about me. Hmm. Well, where can I start? <laughs> um, I was born and somewhat raised <laughs> in Southern Illinois. I am from a little, well, it was a little town then. It is no longer a little town called Fairview Heights, Illinois. I was born in Belleville, Illinois, which is kind of like a suburb, if you will, and then lived in O'Fallon, Illinois, which, you know, they're all kind of right there together. Um, we were about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes-ish, maybe not even that long, from St. Louis. Um, shortly after I turned 11, my mom remarried and you guys see that broom? That's the broom that hit me in the head. I moved it over there. <laughs> anyway, um, my mom remarried and I became a military brat. Yes, I did. My stepfather was in the Air Force we moved to Travis Air Force Base in California. So that's two things. <laughs> um, we lived there for three years and then we were transferred, well we weren't, he was, and we tagged along, <laughs> to Wiesbaden, West Germany. And I say West Germany because at the time I was there, the wall was still up. Um, that split East Germany and West Germany. So that's why I always say West Germany. I do not think that they actually differentiate between East and West anymore. I'm not 100% sure. That's just a habit, but yeah. So lived there for three years. We were there for um, we moved in the middle of my eighth grade year, and we were there until, well, I was there until the summer, but after, after my sophomore year. I came back stateside earlier than my mom and stepdad did. Um, while I was there, I got to see so many things, and unfortunately, I was too young to appreciate the opportunity that I had. Um, yeah, it is, it's quite unfortunate. I was so upset with my stepdad taking me away from my dad that, <laughs> anyway. Um, I got to see Austria. We went to Amsterdam. Um, we went to Anne Frank's house. I've even said, seen the red light district. <laughs> um, we seen New Schwanstein Castle, which is the the castle that Disney kind of replicated for the fantasy castle. Um, I've been to Switzerland. Uh, just a whole bunch of different places. And my parents went back to Austria my mom and my stepdad and they bought this candy now mind you I'm like 12 or 13 years old so I do not know what this is other than the fact it's chocolate I ate the whole daggum bag and I kept thinking wow this has got a warm sensation in the inside of it my mom and stepdad comes home I don't even know where they were I'm laying on my waterbed too now, by the way. And it's just, it's just a moving. 
my stepdad walks in the room and he looks at me and he says, what in the world is wrong with you? I said, I don't know. I just don't feel good. He says, well, what did you eat? I said, well, I ate that chocolate that was in the freezer and he just started laughing. Y'all, I ate a whole 16 ounce bag of chocolate covered rum balls. <laughs> and I was drunk. <laughs> He's like, okay, put your leg off on the side of the bed because you're not a water bed. I'm, y'all, I was green. Yeah. Um, let's see. After that, we moved back stateside back to um, California. Like I said, I came back earlier and stayed with my um, grandma and grandpa. So I started my junior year back home in Illinois. Then we went back to Travis Air Force Base, finished my junior year there. Um, it came time for reorders for my stepdad. They were going to send him to a base that he did not want to go to. <clears throat> he had already had 25, 28 years in, so he decided to retire. So, we ended up in Greensboro, North Carolina, where his parents were currently at. So, we would have a place to stay until he could find a job in the civilian world. So I started my senior year of high school in Greensboro, North Carolina. In October, we moved to Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is kind of where I'm at now. I don't live in that particular town, but in the same state. So then I went to another high school my senior year. Then they bought a house, which would have put me in a completely different school in the dis same district. Thankfully, the principal was like, no, 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 no. You're a senior. We're going to do senior privilege. You have your own transportation. You can stay in the school. So that kind of leads up to what I was saying with the knitting and crochet tag, if you've seen it. Because I was in the military schools, I had every single credit that I needed to graduate except for senior math and English. But because I was a new student to the district, they would not let me do early release or um, late start. So I had to fill in the gaps. So I had that fiber arch class. And this was back when they had eight classes. They didn't do like, you know, four classes two hour is at a time. This was like one class for 45 minutes to an hour or whatever it was. So I had eight classes. And so I had English and math, had the fiber arts. The other five classes were study hall. That was a waste of my time and a waste of their space, if you ask me. But those were the rules. Fast forward. Um, met my husband. We got married on a 10101. And we lived in South Carolina for a while. Then we went and we moved to Nevada for a while to be closer to my dad when he wasn't doing too well. Then we moved back to South Carolina and that's kind of where we're at now. I was a surgical tech for many years. Loved, loved, loved working in the OR. I worked with orthopedics. <clears throat> um, had to have my left hip replaced in 2012. It went perfect. Had to have my right hip replaced in 2017. This is all due to um, birth defects. The right one did not do well. If I move a certain way, the hip slips out of the socket. So I'm dealing with that. Um, I lost my job because the doctor wouldn't release me. 
this, that, and the other. Now I really can't work because I can't move in certain directions. I can't walk very long, la, 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 la. And now I'm going on, going, dealing with other medical issues with um, inflammation and I'm still not ready to go into major details other than the fact that I will have to go to the doctor every two weeks for the rest of my life. And I may end up in a wheelchair because of it. And that's all I really, really want to say on this platform. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of more than, I think, 10 yarny, non-yarny things about me. But, okay, who do I want to tag on this one? I'm going to tag the Happy Crafty Homemaker. I'm going to tag North Country Knitting. Um... I don't know. If you want to do this, tag your it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, happy knitting, happy looming, and happy crocheting. Bye. Thanks for joining us on The Lopsided Crafter. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. We really, truly appreciate it. Until next time, happy knitting, happy looming, and happy crocheting. Bye.